Hey guys, a comic girl here, and today we have the third episode of my series, Let's Take a Look Back. And in this episode, we're actually going to look at the first My Little Pony G4 toys ever released. The first sighting of these were at the My Little Pony Toy Fair booth in 2010. So there was a lot of speculation going on, like, what on earth were these? And if I remember, I'll go ahead and put a picture up, like, right now, just so you can see what they looked like. As you can see, Princess Celestia was actually supposed to be white, and definitely a lot of details that you don't see in the release that we got. However, it's pretty close, aside from Princess Celestia. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual set itself. Here you can see it came with a book that, um, normally I would just say, oh look, here's a book. However, there's a lot of interesting details that um, kind of prove that this set was made or produced before the finalization of the actual show itself. Some of the main points is here on this page, they call Princess Luna Princess Selena, which was her original name before they changed it to Princess Luna. Here it says that a question, or um, excuse me, uh, Princess Celestia ruled over Ponydom, which is clearly not the name of Equestria. They do mention Equestria, but for some reason they mentioned pony dumb which is which is just kind of really weird also a lot of stock vectors that they use that are just really out of place like what is twilight's problem here um uh again the story is pretty close uh to what uh the pilot of the show was again twilight looking really weird here i don't know what's up with her neck uh so they call her also princess uh nightmare moon they just refer to her as nightmare here so just gonna flip through here real quick uh, really weird pictures here just like a lot of stock vectors which just look really out of place they kind of just look like they copied and pasted this together but again I, maybe these started showing up on shelves before the show even premiered so that's probably why they had to do that so as you can see that's the end of the book and yeah so if you really want to read this book yourself I'm sure you can go find it online or something but that's all I'm gonna show for this video anyways let's go and take a look at the figures themselves here first one we're gonna take a look at is spike now this spike you probably have seen many times before. Uh, this mold was used uh, in a variety of other play sets. I, there's so many I can't even name them all. But um, if you have like Twilight Sparkles Twinkling Balloon or uh, some, I don't even, there's so many out there. But I'm sure someone out there, if you collect My Little Pony, you have this spike, even if you don't own this particular set. So um, very, I don't even know what much to say because this spike kind of comes with uh, almost every a uh, set that includes him. Uh, the only other mold they made of him is his standing form with the little bow tie, but other than that, this is the spike you see everywhere. Kind of weird, he's on four feet that's like never seen in any episode ever. He just kind of looks really weird. So I don't really get that, but here is Spike on four feet. Kind of looks more like a eye lizard or something, but anyways, that is Spike. Next, let's take a look at Pinkie Pie, probably one of the best in the set. As you can see, she has her curly pink hair with her balloons cutie mark here. Uh, her blue eyes we all know and love. Uh, the pink hair continues here, cutie mark on one side only. So definitely the cutest little uh, one in the set uh, next to probably Twilight in my opinion. And so yeah, so that's the little Pinkie Pie. Let's go and go on to Twilight here. Uh, Twilight has her star cutie mark and her purple hair. One thing that's interesting is that her horn color is different from her body color, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there is some plastic mismatch between the colors between her head and her body, but that's kind of to be expected. I don't really know what they did, but I had trouble with that on the um, on the brushables as well. So I don't know exactly what Hasbro did there. Uh, here there's this kind of weird little hair piece here that I don't really understand. It's like they were trying to go for a hairstyle but kind of missed it by putting out this piece here so I don't really get that but other than that she is really cool looking. Probably one of the best next to Pinkie Pie. Here we have Applejack which to me comes close to what she looks like however there's a few things that uh, kind of miss for me. The tail is perfect. Um, one thing that bothers me is they put two braids on Applejack like she only has one. I can see why they did it, but it's just kind of something that bothered me. So um, this is the Applejack. On the uh, prototype 
or the one show that Toy Fair, she had the freckles on her face, and that was such a small detail. You think that they would just put it on there, and you know, I'm sure it didn't cost them anything to do that, but alas, she does not have that on this figure, and of course, no hat, which is unfortunate. But other than that, really cute. As you can see, mine has a little misalignment in the eyes. This one looks like it's kind of drooping if you look really close. Other than that, pretty awesome. Last but not least, and of course the most interesting, is Princess Celestia. In this version, she is pink, which wouldn't bother me. However, there was so much detail put in the prototype that it kind of bugs me so much because the prototype shows her, um, like, her shoes, or I don't even know what you want to call these, painted gold. She comes with her little necklace and, you know, everything, it's like, perfect but I don't know what happened here like what am I looking at this isn't Princess Celestia um in terms of sculpting sculpting it looks really nice um the hair is actually pretty cool I wish they would have made this longer but I understand why they would have to make it short because you know you don't want to make it too long so it breaks off easily the wings are really nice she does have her cutie mark and there is even uh there's even a gold shine around it which is pretty cool the crown is removable so that's pretty cool. I don't know why you would though, because then you just kind of left with this really weird wave of hair. So of course I would just leave it on. So again, probably the most disappointing one in the set, along with uh, Spike, which kind of started this trend of putting him on four, four hooves, not hooves, but four legs and putting him on all four feet, I guess. Um, so, but other than that, in terms of like molding, this set definitely did a pretty good job. Overall, um, this is a really nice set. Especially for um, people who don't want to deal with the ones with the uh, hair. So this kind of, you know, you don't have to worry about giving them a haircut or anything. If you want something more show accurate, you can always repaint Celestia. So, um, however, in terms of like the first set they released, I think they did a pretty good job at it. In terms of where you can find this set, you can probably find it on Amazon or eBay for a pretty reasonable price, I believe. Uh, definitely if you want it mint in box, you're going to definitely have to pay more. However, if you just want the characters loose, you can pretty much find these on eBay. Uh, especially Twilight and Applejack. These are actually on Amazon as cake toppers for less than 10 bucks and it comes with both of them. So if you just want these two, that's definitely the route I would go. Um, but yeah, so overall I think it's a really cute set. A couple missteps in my opinion. However, I think overall it's a really cool set and a really interesting look back in when Friendship is Magic wasn't completely finalized and kind of when they weren't too sure. A lot of people, especially collectors, weren't sure weren't sure where the uh, toy uh, direction was heading. So anyways, I hope that you learned something new here today. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.